I'm waiting for some clients that come over my art studio uh, this weekend to do an Airbnb experience that I have um, apart from my cornerstone job and I was trying to make the most of the time waiting for them so this week we have Convergence and Cornerstone it's a bigger venue in which we invite 2,000 clients and prospects all of them are HR professionals and it's just a beautiful moment for us to share knowledge to share some ideas and to really start the conversation how do you use an HCM solution how it's the best way to use data but also um, um, to really network it's really important that we stay in touch with with the community um, I think it's helpful for everyone for companies that call so but for individuals that are passionate about HR like myself and I was happy enough or lucky enough to um, actually present a panel in which we were discussing employer branding and I hope I can do a webinar with uh, the panelists very soon. It was a very interesting uh, point of view from employer branding from the internal way that we communicate as well as external and I think one of the big things that became clear, clear for everyone that was in the audience and because of the questions is that we are HR professionals and employer branding is such a big topic and sometimes we are required to have skills that we are not trained for that have nothing to do with normally with our every you know day-to-day -day job so things are really changing so two takeaways is one really work together with your marketing team I'm sure there's someone in your department in the marketing in your company that maybe they want to do a site project maybe there's a way for you guys to exchange to have a couple of conversations and meetings and try to see how you can utilize whatever is happening in your talent strategy with employer branding but also with the employer value proposition that's so important nowadays with new generations going into the workforce uh, um, how do you do that and your marketing team is there and they can help you I'm sure it's also something exciting for them to be part of and then there was a very good question uh, someone in the audience said should we respond to bad reviews and absolutely yes it's super important that when our employees or a candidate or ex-candidate takes the time to go online, to go on Glassdoor or go on Twitter or on any kind of social media tool and they express their maybe discomfort, maybe something has happened. It's really important that we have a, a clear strategy from our organizations to respond to those questions. It's very, very important. Um, most of the times the, the, the questions will be a little bit maybe um, sensitive and you don't want to discuss them openly, but at least you should have a way that in the response you enable them to go and speak to HR and help them and, and point out maybe Maybe who which function they're supposed to reach out in the case that they had a bad experience so really part of the employer branding the responsibility is that there will be questions and there will be some comments and those are gonna be public and as a consequence we need to have a response to them and we need to respond to all sorts of comments and feedback being positive but even more the ones that are negative they're the ones that are more important um, well this is my video for the week I didn't do it on Friday because we were all very tired from convergence trying to recover uh, but yeah that's it for me I would love to hear more about your experiences building up your employer branding and I hope that very soon we can maybe have a webinar with the panelists and, and share a little bit more of information. Thank you.